What is up, guys, and welcome to another edition of the Market Marauder Show. Be in the market one trade at a time. If you're new to the Market Marauder Show, it's an investment channel, helps you to find the best deals in the market. All right, so as you guys have seen, probably in the previous weeks or this week, uh, Facebook has recently changed their name to Meta. But you may be asking yourself, what is the Metaverse? What in the world is that? And why should I be concerned? And how does it fit into cryptocurrencies? Uh, so in this video, I'm going to be giving you a breakdown of what the Metaverse really is um, and some cryptocurrency projects that I think could benefit the most from the Metaverse. So the Metaverse uh, was not created uh, by Facebook. So just bear that in mind. The Metaverse is something that already existed probably Prior to Facebook changing their name to Meta, so it's kind of like them taking credit for all of it, but it did exist uh, prior to that. So um, the word the word Metaverse is uh, Porto, uh, which is the prefix Meta, uh, meaning beyond and universe, which is typically used to describe the concept of a future iteration of the internet made up uh, of persistent shared 3D virtual spaces linked into perceived virtual universe. The metaverse is a broader sense may not only refer to virtual worlds, uh, but the entire spectrum of augmented reality. So a porto is basically meaning uh, multiple worlds so the metaverse is multiple digital worlds that all exist um, in their own uh, way on the internet so that's basically an, an interesting way to look at um, the metaverse so if you've seen the game i mean the video or movie uh ready player one that basically explains what the metaverse is and that's sort of kind of what it's going to but it's a lot deeper than that um if you looked at the review uh from the facebook um you know video them changing their name to meta um there's a whole lot of different things you can do in the metaverse uh but there are some projects that already exist on and have their own metaverse um that you could benefit from um in the future and i'm going to show you some of the things you can possibly do in these metaverses so the first one or the first project that i want to highlight on here um is the central game so on here um they're basically a casino uh which is a dow which i'll explain what that is if you're completely new to what any of this is um you will have to go and connect your metamask wallet in order to be uh, again to take part of this metaverse um, and so a metamask wallet is free uh, you can just go to metamask.io there's an android and an ios app for it as well as a plugin uh, that you'll get on chrome if you're using your chrome extension so their ticker sign is dg um, and you'll essentially be playing like poker um, other things you can play at the casino uh, type games um, for this metaverse uh, so play to earn gaming in the metaverse um, and it says with dg uh, you are the house you control the profits vote on new games and earn money back directly by playing um, so it's kind of a new you know way of thinking as far as you know going in gambling so you don't have to go to a casino uh, you can do it in the metaverse so uh, as far as the metaverse is concerned they have their own clothing you have your own avatar um, and so you'll have your own character and all these items you can purchase in this subset metaverse and so that's why i think it's very broad that facebook is calling themselves meta because there are multiple metaverses that already currently exist that people are taking part of um, but they do have their own coin uh, for decentralized games and it is ticker sign dg uh, so basically the uh, essence of this is play to earn play games in the metaverse and earn dg token win or lose get the 50 percent of your expected losses back in dg so uh, if you lose you'll get 50 percent in dg and then you continue to play more and more so ultimately you want to gain more dg uh, by playing these different games and most of the metaverse uh you know applications you'll see are usually play to earn but i feel like they're trying to uh move this more towards um you know name brand stores and name brand things coming into the metaverse um and so i think facebook is trying to make or meta is trying to make their own metaverse to connect a lot of different companies together to make one singular metaverse but like i said again metaverse is kind of a broad topic um, because there are multiple metaverses that are already in existence 
So on here, it says earn APY, um, and so stake DG in governance uh, and earn up to 40% in guild rewards. So on here, uh, vote in the DAO to become the house. With the DG DAO, uh, your own casino, control the profits, vote for new games, and decide uh, on feature proposals. So on here, they already have a lot of partners, uh, you know, so far that are already supporting this and some of these are very popular ones uh so you have the board Eight yacht company uh you have decentraland uh which i'm gonna talk about later on uh you have atari um and polygon so those are some popular ones on here uh you have some other ones on here like digital currency group cluster uh au21 capital uh, just to name a few so some of these already have large partners behind them uh and this is something that i think uh meta aka facebook is going to try to do uh with some other name brand um, companies so this is basically on here it tells you how to get started uh, and it'll send you and basically explain to you how you can get started in here so on here just says join the community they do have a discord and a telegram uh, so on here just basically want to explain what DAO is to those who may not know what DAO is um, you may be like what is that what is DAO uh, so on here Investopedia basically says um, because I don't want to give you the false definition of that uh, what is the centralized autom autonomous organization or DAO uh, one of the major features of digital currency is that they are decentralized centralized um, and so that's kind of the irony of that I'm seeing a Facebook calling themselves meta they're trying to join a trying to make something that is decentralized centralized by making Facebook the owner of the metaverse so uh, it's kind of a, a catch-22 um, if you look at it from that way uh, so basically I said this means that not controlled by a single institution aka meta uh, like a government or central bank but instead are divided among a variety of computers, networks, and nodes. In many cases, virtual currencies uh, make up the decentralized status to attain levels of privacy and security that are typically unavailable uh, to standard currencies and their transactions. Inspired by the centralization of cryptocurrencies, a group of developers came up with the idea of decentralized autonomous organizations, or DAO, in 2016. So it's not a new term, DAO. It just may be new to uh some of you all who are jumping into crypto for the first time. Uh, so the key takeaways of this, uh, DAO was an organization created by developers to um, automate decisions and facilitate cryptocurrency transactions. Uh, and without DAO itself, there really wouldn't be metaverses. So just bear that in mind. Uh, DAO is something that's going to have to come up uh, when Facebook or Meta starts to build out their metaverse. Um and so in June 2016, due to programming errors and attack vectors, hackers attacked the DAO accessing 3.6 million Ethereum. So that's, you know, one of the, the major things that, you know, the security part is so heavily uh, monitored with DAO because of that hack in 2016. Uh, so digital uh, exchange currencies delisted the DAO token uh, in September 2016. So that's kind of the, the previous past of DAO. Uh, DAO in general as a topic has become a lot more safe and a lot more secure. So don't let that, you know, deter you from getting into cryptocurrencies uh, and so they are traded on here you can see decentralized games uh, so for one dg is about four hundred and ninety six dollars and ninety four cents at the time of recording this they're down two point nine three percent rank number 351 on coin market cap so they did have a little peak uh right here this is kind of around the time the facebook uh meta news came out it kind of shot up and it's been up uh pretty high since then uh it was kind of low for a while uh having another spike that was around uh September 1st time frame and so it is still pretty high still pretty bullish in my personal opinion I think it could potentially go back up if more people figure out uh, that there are other metaverses besides this meta that Facebook is creating Secondly on here, I want to talk about the most popular one, and this is Decentraland. So Decentraland create, explore, and trade in the first ever virtual world owned by its users. Uh, and so on here, um, it just basically says lose yourself and explore. There are different things you can buy in Decentraland. Decentraland, Decentraland being one of the partners for Decentral Games. So just bear that in mind, some of the things you may get in Decentraland can transfer over to Decentral Games because they are partners. Uh, but basically on here, create, test your limits of imagination, create scenes, artwork, uh, challenges, and more using the simple builder tool 
uh, take part in events to win prizes. For more experienced creators, the SDK provides tools to fill the world with social games and applications. Um, and so there's a trade on here, like I said earlier, like clothes and different items. Uh, you can buy and sell land, uh, estates, avatar wearables, uh, and names in the central land marketplace, stocking the very best digital goods and paraphernalia backed by the Ethereum blockchain. So all of these being built on Ethereum, one of the reasons why Ethereum is just going crazy and I think will continue to go up because all of these are based on Ethereum. So uh, understand the use case of Ethereum as being a blockchain blockchain and not just a coin so you know when all these projects start to come out um, and people continue to build more and more and stack more things on ethereum the price of ethereum will go up gas fees i don't think are going to be going down too too soon uh, i think you know they're going to be working on trying to mitigate gas fees as more people start to jump into the metaverse these are all challenges that I think Meta, uh, being Facebook, will have to overcome as well. Uh, but, you know, they're a bigger organization um, and they will have their own DAO backed by them and other sponsors. So on here, it just talks about some different articles uh, and it talks about about Decentraland, uh, the first fully decentralized world. Decentraland is controlled via the DAO, uh, which owns the most important smart contracts and assets of Decentraland via the DAO. Uh, you decide and vote how the world works. Um, and so that is one of the key things that I think you all should look at um, when Meta uh, or Facebook starts to roll out their metaverse is how they are targeting the DAO. Um, if they are making the DAO themselves being Facebook or Meta, um, it really is not uh, decentralized. So it kind of negates the decentralized autom decentralized uh, automation aspect of it by making themselves the sole governance of this metaverse. So that's why I said it's kind of ironic and kind of a catch-22, uh, but we'll see how much freedom they give to users uh, in their metaverse considering there are multiple metaverses that already exist so they are po they are uh, traded uh coin and you can get their coin on decentraland um on here on coin market cap they're currently down 10.3 uh three percent uh right number 38 uh, on coin market cap or down 11.7 percent so they are having a little bit of a bearish downward trend currently are at three dollars but they did shoot up like i said again around the news of the metaverse um coming out or facebook changing their name to meta so make sure you drop a comment down below what do you think of this metaverse idea do you think facebook um, will relinquish their total control of meta uh, when they make their own metaverse um, do you think that is a good thing that facebook is jumping into the future of uh, the metaverse uh, and trying to make their own metaverse or do you think that these private organizations like decentraland decentralized games and welcome to decentraland uh, or Decentraland should continue on doing what they're doing and Facebook should support them. So kind of mixed feelings, but tell me your thoughts down below in the comment section. While you're down there, make sure that thumbs up. Definitely helps YouTube out in front of the videos and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.